Good morning, I'm Maddie Jansen, and this is the podcast of 17 News at Sunrise. It's everything you need to know to start your day in about 15 minutes. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning, Attorney General William Barr in the hot seat today to talk about his handling of the Mueller report. The reason Democrats are now calling for his resignation or impeachment. As the school year winds down, several organizations want to take BCSD to court over what students won't be doing this summer. We'll explain. We're asking you to unleash your love for local shelter pets today. How you can help the SPCA, whether you have room in your family to take one home or not. This is Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. Good morning. Great to have you with us. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher. May 1st. I can't believe How? that. It's, this year's going by so fast. Really I think is. what shocks me, too, is you think about all the kids that are gearing up for the end of school. Mm-hmm. State testing is underway for a lot of students around the county, mm-hmm. and a lot of people are already planning their summer vacations. I can't Hard believe to believe. It. Yeah. We'll start out in those 50s by 11 or at 68, and then 70s, upper 70s this afternoon. For the Tatchby area, 45 degrees right now, a west northwest wind at uh, 6. And as we go throughout the day, we'll start out in those 40s, warming you up to 58 by 11, and then we're looking at some 60s throughout the afternoon. Now, if you want to head to the course today, maybe put a little golfing in your uh, schedule. Here's what it looks like. We'll start out at 8 a.m. right near 61, 11 o'clock here at 68. And by 2 o'clock, if you're getting a late start on the greens, will be right near 77. So overall, a great day around Kern County. The battle to reinstate summer school classes on all BCSD campuses continues, and it appears it's headed to court. As we've reported, the district canceled its regular summer school program this year, opting instead for a modified program. That program is 16 days of summer school funded through a state grant focused on remedial English and math at four schools. But some parents complain their children will suffer. So a civil lawsuit has been filed on behalf of two students against the district and trustees, alleging they're not complying with district's local control and accountability plan, which includes summer school on all campuses. The district has released a statement. It reads in part, both the California Department of Education and Kern County Superintendent of Schools Office have repeatedly advised that BCSD has and continues to comply with the legal requirements relating to its local control and accountability plan and the modified summer learning program. BCSD, through its attorneys, will vigorously defend against CRLA, GBLA, and LCCR's meritless lawsuit. Attorney General William Barr will be in the hot seat on Capitol Hill today. He's scheduled to testify in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee on his handling of special counsel Robert Mueller's report into Russia election meddling. Democrats are now calling for the resignation or impeachment of Barr. This all comes hours after a Washington Post report that Mueller complained Barr's four-page depiction of the Mueller report mischaracterized the Russia investigation. Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy spoke about Barr's upcoming testimony and his handling of the Mueller report during a news conference yesterday. McCarthy also says it seems the Democrats are more concerned with attorneys talking to the Attorney General. I think the Attorney General has done a terrific job. I think the Attorney General wants to come and speak to members of Congress, and I think that's his priority. It's interesting to me that the Democrat majority now would try to change course, that they are more concerned about attorneys talking to the Attorney General than members themselves. I think the priority, priority should be members. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Sacramento has released the names of 46 priests and deacons who've been credibly accused of sexual abuse over the past seven decades. The diocese says those on the list have been credibly accused of sexually abusing 130 minors or young adults ages 25 and younger. The list is based on the personnel records of nearly 1,500 bishops, priests, and deacons dating back to the 1950s. The diocese also included in the list 16 clergy members who served in the Diocese of Sacramento, but the allegations of abuse occurred outside of the diocese. The list was supposed to be released last fall, but got pushed back after the diocese hired an outside consultant to go through the personnel files. Tonight, supporters of Monsignor Craig Harrison plan to support the priest as he faces two accusations of sexual misconduct. The accusations were made public within a week of each other, which one incident allegedly happening in Firebaugh and another in Merced. Harrison served at parishes in both cities before he came to Bakersfield. Supporters of Monsignor Harrison are holding a vigil tonight. It is set for 6 o'clock at St. Francis of Assisi in central Bakersfield. 
A man police say is responsible for a deadly shooting in southwest Bakersfield set to appear in court today. That shooting happened April 19th on Parker Avenue, a few blocks off Stein Road. Police found Robert Dominguez Jr. shot to death inside a home. Last Tuesday, Juan Pablo Torres was arrested in the town of Weed, some 500 miles northwest of Bakersfield near Mount Shasta. Investigators say he faces murder charges. He's due in court later today. It is a first here in Kern County. A drug dealer held criminally liable for a deadly overdose. Yesterday, David Williams was sentenced for the death of Joseph Lara. You may remember back in January, Lara's body was found buried in a southwest Bakersfield backyard. Prosecutors say Williams sold Lara's dr Lara drugs laced with fentanyl. Then when Lara overdosed and died, Williams burned and buried the body. In court yesterday, the family spoke to Williams, asking him why he didn't call 911 and get Laura help while he was dying. Williams just hid his face behind a folder. In a plea deal, Williams was sentenced to six years in prison for involuntary manslaughter. Two other people are being charged as accessories. 508 now. Later this morning, we'll find out just how many pairs of kicks Guarantee Shoe Center collected during its 27th annual Shoes for the Homeless drive. The two-and-a-half-week-long drive wrapped up Sunday. Guarantee Shoe Center owner Roscoe Rolnick plans to announce the total number of shoes collected this morning. Then Guarantee will bring all of the donations over to the Bakersfield Homeless Center. Guarantee says in the past 26 years, its annual shoe drive has netted more than 80,000 pairs of shoes. The measles outbreak continues to make its way closer to the Golden Empire. Two new cases have been reported in Southern California, one in Los Angeles County and one in Orange County. The first reported case there. Patients in both cases told health officials they traveled internationally. The number of measles cases nationwide is the highest it's been in 25 years, with more than 700 cases reported to the CDC this year alone. Doctors are urging vaccination, especially for people traveling outside the U.S., saying that without the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, the outbreaks would be much worse. Meanwhile, Adventist Health Bakersfield's helping get kids vaccinated by offering free shots again this month. The dates for the May mobile immunization clinics are out. The first happening today from 930 to 1130 and noon to 2 in the parking lot at the Walgreens on Chester Avenue. If you can't make that one, there's another Friday at Plans Elementary from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., and a third on Saturday from 10 to 12.30, and 1 to 3 at Lifehouse Church on Manor Street. You don't need an appointment, but you do need to bring your child's immunization card. Kids under 5 will be given priority. Today is May 1st, and that means the start of Mental Health Awareness Month. Current Behavioral Health and Recovery Services is celebrating with events and activities designed to increase awareness of mental health issues and eliminate the stigma surrounding mental illness and those who suffer from it. On May 16th, KBHS is asking the community to help bring awareness to mental health by, green, by tying green ribbons around trees. Then from 5 to 7 p.m., there will be an event at the Consumer Family Learning Center on 28th Street where people can come hear stories of hope and recovery. KBHS says one in five people are affected by mental health or substance abuse in issues in their lifetime, and most people diagnosed with a serious mental health condition can experience relief from their symptoms by getting help. It's a record. The number of security screenings at America's airports hit a new high during spring break this year. The TSA says agents screened more than 108 million passengers and crew between March 14th and April 28th, and more than 63 million checked bags. That's up 5% from the same time last year. Despite the high volume of travelers, 97% waited less than 20 minutes at security checkpoints, and those in TSA pre-check lines waited less than 5 minutes. The three busiest airports during spring break were Los Angeles International, JFK in New York, and Chicago O'Hare. Internet dating scams are on the rise. People reported losing more than $140 million last year. Rahima Ellis explains how you can protect yourself from romance scammers. This is the actual picture that was on uh, Match.com. Sandra Eckenreiter thought she had found the perfect match. You're beautiful. I really can't wait to put a ring on your finger. A dream come true, this Massachusetts mom thought, on her first try with internet dating. My husband has passed. I have four kids. I work. And I work all the time. Calling himself Sergeant Hill, he told her he was stationed in Kabul on a secret mission so couldn't call or FaceTime. Instead, he sent pictures. It was, it was nice. But now she says it was all a scam. Sandra became suspicious when Sergeant Hill asked her for money. You, you work in the military. You should be getting paid. She started to send it, but had second thoughts. I'm asking myself, what are you doing? 
So she went online to verify his identity. Sandra's internet date was actually an image of WNBC sports anchor Harry Chickma, whose photos were used to create a fake online profile to lure women. It made me feel absolutely terrible. Match.com says they blocked the fake account and have a dedicated team and sophisticated technology that patrols for fraud. They say to protect yourself, never send money to people you don't know. Cyber experts also recommend doing a reverse image search of the profile picture. And if details don't match, it's a scam. And when in doubt, contact authorities. Rahima Ellis, NBC News. And we have much more information on how to keep yourself and your kids safe online. You can find that on our website, kget.com. Just click on the cyber safe link. Thanks for listening to the podcast of 17 News at Sunrise. It's a 15-minute summary of everything you need to know about Kern County. There's a new episode every weekday.